When I hear the words wounds, I think of something that is going to hurt a lot, uh, that is definitely going to leave a scar, but you will probably not, it's not life-threatening, you're not going to die from it, but it is going to take a long time to heal. Well, the most significant wound I've ever healed was a wound to my heart when we lost our eight-year-old daughter, Anna, in a car accident that I was driving in and uh, witnessed her, her passing away. The night that everything had happened, they, uh, uh, some, some people from our church actually came over and, and no one really wanted to come by because no one knows what to say. And they... They just came over and hung out. They didn't even say anything. They were just they were just there. Uh, we put a cross together and we went and set it on the road that very evening uh, with our church family, and that that seemed to help a lot. I have not been back over there uh, since I set that cross the same day that she had died. Uh, I just can't bring myself to go back over there. Uh, that helped a lot. A little hug uh, here and there uh, just helps helps to know that people care and that people are still. Uh, they still know that we are uh, we are still affected and that our family will never be the same again oh god has been there uh from day one uh even being able to say things to uh to my parents and my my other family that i normally wouldn't say and in a greater boldness and just uh his grace has showed us how precious life is and how how short it can be um his grace has been there with my wife and I through everything as we, as we do struggle and we, oh, he's the only one we can lean on. He is our rock and our salvation. He is the only one that even understands what we're, what we are going through because he's went through it himself with his own son uh, and he goes through it with us. You know, you're, he's always there. You never get away from him. Just think of the verse. It's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own understanding. Trust in him in all your ways, uh, and he will make your path straight for you. And, and so many times I don't understand why this happened or, or why why Anna died and I lived and, and why it wasn't reversed uh, and just why, but we're to trust in him with all our heart and not rely on our own understanding. His grace is there for us not to maybe understand it because it is far greater than anything we could understand. Uh, in that you just have so many questions that that have no answers uh and you just have to trust that god has your best interest in mind and uh and don't rely on your own understanding because if i relied on mine god stole a lot of life from from me uh stole my daughter from me but that's not the way that i see it i see it that the day that i was baptized and i dedicated my kids to the lord uh, i told god that day that they are his kids they're not mine anymore uh, so that night when i set the cross on the side of the road i looked up at the sky and i said god who am i to want my daughter back or say that i know the best for her because i handed her over to you a few years ago and I thank him for taking her because his grace is far greater than anything that I can even imagine. And he's faithful and he brought her to, to himself through Christ Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior. And, and she knew that and she had faith that was unshakable. And, and she still teaches me, even though she is up there with her, with her words and the things that she left for me and her mom and her brothers. I just thank him every day for giving me another day to, to share my stories, an opportunity like this to maybe present myself uh, and, and let people know that that I, no matter what you're going through, he's there with you. His, his grace is greater than anything that we can go through. Uh, it, is, it is the rock, it is our salvation, and, and the joy of the Lord is our strength, and that's, that's where his grace stands.